Hi guys, so today I'm back with my sister and I am um, a wreck, I'm dyeing my hair, I look like a mess, so let's just not have me in this video. But anyways, today I'm going to be doing my sister's eyebrows because you guys wanted me to see me shape her eyebrows. And also, um, we're going to shave her whole face, except for her eyebrows, but we are going to shave it around the eyebrows. And I'm also going to be doing some of her laser hair removal that she does at home and just show you guys how she does it and answer any questions that we've got since she mentioned it from our Christmas get ready with me video but you you want to say something to Do you have SPF cream yes should be using that every day so I'm first gonna do her eyebrows and I actually bought these really cool like um, tiny tiny razors that are from eBay I'll link them in the info box these are like perfect to get right up close to the eyebrows they're super tiny compared to a normal razor of this size like there's a huge difference. This is what I use for the face, this will be for the eyebrows. So I'm going to use the big one on top and then I'm going to use the small one underneath. Have you done this to your eyebrows yet? No. Just for reference, I always use like something straight. Your eyebrow should start from there, look straight. And then from the side of the pupil, your your arc should be that and then the eye, end of the eye like it's basically a three point thing like when you when you're holding it like this you should look straight and the edge of the stick should be on the edge of the pupil and then this should be at the edge of the eye and underneath I'm gonna take some hairs out but then the rest I'm just gonna um, shave off it feels so weird to be removing hair on my sister I haven't done it in so long I've taken most of the like long hairs off, so I'm just going to use this. I'm using my scissors. You should ideally use smaller ones, but I don't have any. I don't know where mine has gone. So I like to push them up and trim the top. Her eyebrows naturally do like an arch like in the middle of her eye, but that's not ideally what we want. So I've kind of put that down a bit and then when she fills in her brow, she can fill it more here. Okay, so I've done her eyebrows and I'm going to start on her face now. This is the most satisfying part. Okay, I'm going to lift your sideburns up. Don't you feel that it's coming off? Yeah, that's disgusting. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> You should have seen mine. Feels so soft. Just make sure that you lift your, all your sideburns up to get like that more natural finish. So how did you shave it when you did it? Did it come off like that? you gave me. The one you gave me is a little bit of that one. Okay. It was the same one. No, it's not. The yellow one. They're mm. just different colours. It doesn't feel like it. Look straight. You don't even have any moustache.
She has hair all the way under her eyes, guys. Just to let you know. Look, there's so much as well. Dude, she's got some chin hair. She's got some chin hair action going. <laughs> Okay, so now that's her face done. I want to fill in your eyebrows a bit. Can you guys see a difference? Like it has like more of like that shape. Do you like it? Yeah. Okay, now we're gonna do the laser because I'm actually out of battery. Basically you get these little knobby things. Um, you got three in them, right? Mm -hmm. So there's three. There's one for the face, one for what else? Bikini line. You get one for your bikini line, one for your legs and arms. Your whole body. Your whole body, and then you get one for your face. So we're also going to use the one for the face. What model is this? Do you know? SC1999. So it's the SC99 model. This is what it looks like. I'm gonna say there's something really. You have a few settings. She's putting on three because last time she did two, so you have to slowly go up, right? Mm -hmm. um, apparently, it hurts last time, like when she did three, so this time she's doing three because she couldn't do it last time. Um, and basically, you just place it on the that side, you just place it on the skin. Start there. And then it goes white. And like, let's say if it's too dark, it, sometimes it goes red. But what you do is like we've managed to figure out like if you stretch out the skin it should like detect it. So that's what we're gonna do. And then you just literally press on the button. So I'm gonna show you one side. when I went to do my laser in a clinic it smells like burnt hair as well but I, I'm actually kind of shook at how legit this is but anyways it's been working on her like she has less and less hair compared to before yeah. oh the smoke <laughs> close your eyes it's like laser quite legit like an actual laser but not as strong because it's not in the biggest intensity I went on three the first time I did I went straight to three really yeah because uh, I didn't get used to it I bet you were so scared yeah I was and I looked at mommy she didn't see so I was like <laughs> I went back to do <laughs> mommy would be like put that <laughs> down <laughs> but laser hair removal does not completely remove hair like it will help with like reducing growth significantly and IPL is like I don't know, like, when you go to clinics, well, the one that I go to don't do IPL, and they, they say that it's not the best laser, but if you want something for at home, and you can do, like, when, at your own time, and it's a bit more affordable as well, then might as well. She's been getting good results as well, I think. Yeah, I will link it in the info box if you guys are interested. Um, if you have any questions, ask me, um, and I'll try, make, I'll try my best to answer to all you guys. Um, do you have SPF? Yes. Oh, and also, guys, if you're going to do laser, please wear SPF. Um, you need it. It's upstairs. I'll give it to you after. But I think that's all I have to say. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I look like a wreck. But anyways, love you guys.